everyone welcome back to studio 33 art by k i've just had a little bit of a malfunction here where i did a failed reverse flower dip which i wasn't happy with at all so i'm now just turning it into a drizzle swipe wreck balloon kiss and spin so i've just now drizzled on some of the global fluoro pink and i'm now going to add on the global fluoro yellow we're then going to follow that with some of the Araldo Di Piolo pouring paints, which have been poured straight out of the bottle. They don't have any of the Floetrol in them, whereas the two fluoro colours do. So this colour I'm putting down now is the Cobalt Hue. And I'm following that with the Araldo Brilliant Blue. And finally the Araldo Pouring Paint Cool Blue. I will list all these colours in the description box below, which you can get to by clicking on the description of this video, unless you're watching it on your smart TV when it won't take you there. So I'm going to do a swipe, and I'm going to be using the Villaggio Pearl Medium mixed with Australian, sorry, with Amsterdam Titanium White and Australian Flow Troll. And I used this recently um, in a reverse flower dip very successfully. So I thought I'd give it a go as a swipe. So here we go. I'm just applying that to the swipe card. I just used a little playing card. And now I'm just going to be swiping down the tile. This is a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter ceramic tile, which I prepared just by wiping it over with some of the isopropyl alcohol before I started and then I laid my paint straight on there. So I'm not getting many cells up there at the moment so I'm not very um, happy with that so far. Um, so it looks like it's one of those days where I'm just going to have to keep working through until I get something that I love and um, you can always try all different things. You don't have to give up on the, the first um, swipe or whatever. So I'm just going to continue now to swipe over um, the drizzle and we'll see what we get. I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Okay, so I've just used my heat embossing tool and now I'm saying, no, I've got no cells coming up there at all. Um, so not very impressed with that so far. So I've decided I'll just do a bit of a wreck with my uh, trusty chopstick. So I'm just drawing the wrecking lines through there just to bring up some of that color, which I know is under there. So all is not lost at the moment and I will just continue now to do my wrecking lines just by running the uh, chopstick through the paint and still as you can see it's not bringing up a lot of color so we'll just keep working at that and um, be back in a moment <laughs> So I'm not really happy with that. I obviously can't see too many um, of anything coming up there. So I'm now just going to use a balloon to see if I can bring up those colours which I know are under there. And sure enough, 
pressing down with the balloon has brought up some colors. So I'm going to continue to just hit that with a balloon softly um, and just bring up some more colors on the on the uh, tile there. And always make sure, of course, that you wipe your balloon off in between each little kiss. Otherwise, you're going to muddy your colors. So I'll just continue now to do my little balloon kisses, which are just looking lovely and really bringing up some of the color there. And now I'm just going to do some little balloon rolls. So you just put the balloon on and then just roll your wrist. Just gives a different effect altogether to the little kisses. So again, just on and then roll off. It gives a lovely feathering sort of look. Um, it's real worth trying to do that. So now I'm going to spin this out and just see if I can expand any cells that are there and also expand the little um, balloon kisses and the balloon swipes or twists and uh, just see what's going to happen. Okay, so it doesn't look like a lot has happened there. They have expanded a little bit, um, but it's looking very pretty now. I'm liking that white background with the balloon kisses. So I'm just going to do a few more little Rex there now that um, it's been spun out a bit which has thinned out the white somewhat and that is enabling now some of that color to come up from underneath as you can see now I can really see my uh, little wrecking lines so I'll just continue to do that for a few moments <music> So I'm actually really liking the result there now, now that we can see those little wrecking lines. So that's it for this one, guys, and I shall now bring you down for a close-up. Okay, well, that was quite a process. I think I've finished up with something that's quite pretty, um, but certainly not where I started. I believe the uh, Villaggio Pearl Medium mixed with the um, Amsterdam Titanium White I had it too thick and that was why it wasn't creating cells because each of those on their own do create cells. So I'm going to now um, thin that down a bit. But this is a really lovely piece anyway. And I'm sure someone will really like that. Lovely, the blues and the aquas and the green that's formed from using the, um, the fluorescent yellow mixing with the blues. It's just gorgeous. So there we have it guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that one today and um, I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not too distant future. Bye for now.